வணக்கம் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் நைன் ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட்ஸ் பை அலெக்சாண்டர் அண்ட் செடிக்யூஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் எடிஷன் ஸோ திஸ் கொஸ்டன் இஸ் டு டிட்டர்மின் ஐபி யூசிங் நோடல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஸோ வென் வி லுக் இன் டு திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் வி கம் டு நோ தட் த்ரீ ரெசிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் அண்ட் ஒன் voltage source of 24 volts is available and this 60 iv dependent voltage source is also available now we can mark the nodes and this node is marked as node 1 and this is marked as node 2 and this is our reference node that is the ground node okay and the potential at this first node can be named as v1 and this can be named as v2 okay and in this particular problem we have a special case this is this can be called as a supernova this 60 iv voltage source that is the dependent voltage source is available between two non reference nodes so we know that this node number 1 and the node number 2 are non reference nodes and this ground node this is your ground right and this ground is reference node and this super node is the node in which the voltage sources that is the dependent or independent okay here it is dependent dependent or independent voltage source is connected between non reference nodes then these nodes will be considered as a single node that is important okay that's why we termed it as 1 2 okay this will be considered as a single node now we are marking the currents so from first node we can mark the current as i1 which is flowing towards this reference node similarly from the second node the current i2 is leaving the node okay since we have to apply nodal analysis we are going to apply kcl right which of current law which of current law states that in a particular node summation of entering current is equal to summation of leaving current isn't it so now we are going to apply this kcl at node 1 2 that is the super node so at the super node what are the incoming currents incoming currents only the ib and the outgoing of i1 and i2 so for ib i can write it like it is at this point 24 volts is available right so the current is flowing from this point to this point that is from 24 volts to v1 right so it is 24 minus v1 divided by the resistance 250 ohms okay that is equal to i1 i1 is v1 minus that zero potential this is at zero potential so v1 minus zero divided by this 50 ohms plus what is i2 i2 is at v2 potential okay so it is at v2 potential minus zero divided by this 150 so in this we can cancel out the 0 0 similarly 5 okay so this is 3 times this is 5 times like that is the mark so what do we get we get it as 24 by 5 minus v1 by 5 minus this v1 okay then minus this v2 by 3 that is equal to 0 so i can rewrite this as v1 by 5 minus v1 minus v2 by 3 that is equal to minus 24 by 5 so we can cancel out the minus sign everywhere right so it becomes plus so taking common denominator here as 15 this becomes 3v1 plus 15v1 plus 5v2 
that is equal to 24 by 5. So, cancelling out this 3 and cross multiplying this by 24 multiplied by 3, we get the equation as 18 v1 plus 5 v2 that is equal to 72. So, this is our first equation. One more thing we should know that if you have the super note, we are going to apply KCL as well as we have to apply the KVL. Okay, KVL is the voltage difference uh, that is in a closed loop. But here what we have to do is this voltage source depend on voltage source that can be written as V1 minus V2 that is equal to 60 IV. Okay, this would be our second equation. So, our second equation is V1 minus V2 that is equal to 60 IV. Now, you have to check what is that IV and all, right? How to write this IV? We have already noted this. How to write this IV? We know that it is 24 minus V1 divided by 250. So, that can be substituted here. In place of IV, we know that it is between this IV is flowing between this 24 volts potential and this V1 potential and 250 ohm resistance is there. So, this is your IV as per this is the IV given in the problem itself. So, IV we have already noted it as 24 minus V1 divided by 250. Okay. So, what is this V1 minus V2 that is equal to 60 times 24 minus V1 divided by this 250, right? So, you can cancel out this and cross multiply this 25. So, this is 25 V1 minus 25 V2 that is equal to 6 into 24. It is 144 minus 6 V1. So, when I bring this 6 V1 to this side, it becomes plus 6 V1. So, that it becomes 31 V1 minus 25 V2 that is equal to 144. So, I get the second equation. So, in order to solve this equation, I can multiply this first equation by 5. So, that we can get this as 31 18, in, 18 into 5 that is 90 V1 plus 25 V2 that is equal to 360. So this is our modified form of this first equation. Okay. So when we add these two equations this becomes 121 V1 that is equal to 504. So, what is V1? V1 is equal to 504 divided by 121 that is equal to 4.165 volts. But the question is to find IV, right? In this, we can substitute the value of V1. V1 is 4.165 divided by this 250. That gives the value as 0.07934 amps. Or we can write this IV as 79.34 milliamps. So, this is our answer. So, this IV equal to 
Thank you.